24, two new drugs for late-stage melanoma are giving doctors and patients hope in the fight against their disease. New studies show Yervoy helped patients live two months longer than those given chemotherapy alone. Vembuvirafenib reduced the risk of dying in certain patients by more than 60 percent and was shown to shrink tumor size. Experts say the drugs are promising but not perfect. Less than half of melanoma patients will have a positive reaction and the drugs do have some serious side effects. Dermatologists say what is more common to other forms of skin cancer, basal cell carcinoma and squamous cell carcinoma. It's your Health Tuesday and we stop by a local dermatologist's office to talk about detection and treatment. A warning here, some of this video may be a little unsettling. He's concerned about it. It's the best way to find out if a nagging bump or bruise is something to be worried about. So we're going to do this skin biopsy, take a little sample of this. Now you're going to feel a little stick in the sting, all right? It's just going to numb it up. Let's go right down there like that. Might be a little bleeding. Take a little sample here. That's what we'll send to the lab. It's just a small little piece. And we'll put it in the container. This is how we send it off to the lab. And that's that. Biopsy done. Now, we're going to put a bandage on there. You keep it on for the week. And then when you come back in a week, we'll uh, have a report back. And then we'll know what we need to do. In just a few minutes, dermatologist Dr. Fred Quarles took the first step in finding out whether this patient will need to be treated for skin cancer. He urges everyone to be on the lookout for trouble. If it doesn't look right, get it checked out. Dr. Quarles has already performed a biopsy on a spot of concern on Michael Stoneman's lip. I wasn't sure if it was cancer. I just knew it wasn't healing, and I just said I need to get this taken care of. Well, he has a very high index of suspicion based on his history of being in the sun, he smokes, and it's on his lip, and it's not healing, which is why I biopsied it. Now, the good news is it came back as a non-cancerous, sun-damaged area. But the painful bump still needs to be treated using something called cryotherapy. Yeah. Now, this is called liquid nitrogen. It's not toxic but it will cause a blister to form and we're trying to treat it. I still feel there's some sun damaged area on this lip. This is how we treat it and there's one little spot over here I'm going to treat. So your lips going to be a little sore today? It's just cold. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously cold. And when people are outside enjoying this hot weather, Dr. Quarles reminds us all to respect the sun, wearing sunscreen with at least a 30 SPF, putting on a big hat and being observant. Dr. Quarrel says, says pay attention to certain characteristics of moles or bumps on your skin, the asymmetry, border, color, and whether they are healing or not. By the way, those ultraviolet rays are the most damaging between the hours of 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. The doctor says plan accordingly.